Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the object section. This is bracket notation. It says the second way to access a key's value is by using bracket notation. You've used bracket notation when indexing an array. We have here an array of A, B, and C, and when we access index 0, it returns A. To use bracket notation to access an object's property, we pass in the property name or key as a string. Here's our object spaceship and property name fuel type and it should give us the value for the fuel type key. We must use bracket notation when accessing keys that have numbers, spaces, or special characters in them. Without bracket notation in these situations our code would throw an error. Here we have let spaceship be assigned this object with these different keys and these different values. When we access those keys it will return those values. When we try to access a key that doesn't exist, it will return undefined. With bracket notation, you can also use a variable inside the brackets to select the keys of an object. This can be especially helpful when working with functions. Here we have let return any prop is this function that takes an object name and prop name and then we'll grab the value of that object with that specific property name. When we call return any prop, and pass in spaceship with prop name of home planet, it should return earth, the value of home planet. If we try to write our return any prop function with dot notation, object name dot prop name, the computer would look for a key of prop name on our object and not the value of the prop name parameter. Let's get some practice using bracket notation to access properties. Our instructions say, let's use bracket notation to access the value of active mission from the spaceship object in the code editor. Create a variable is active and assign the spaceship's active mission property to it. Let's do that now. We can run it and we do pass. Two says using bracket notation and the prop name variable provided, console log the value of the active mission property. So we have prop name here. It has the value of active mission. They want us to log that out. Let's do that here. Let's run it and we do get true. And what we're learning here is basically how to use bracket notation to access values within our objects. We learn two different ways. One is by inputting the property name directly within our brackets and the other one is through a variable. Both ways we're able to access our spaceship active mission property and return true. As long as you guys are understanding that, you guys are getting bracket notation, and I'll see you in the next lesson.